Be Quiet's Pure Wings series is actually what the name really says. It's, it's pure. We just had a look at the slow spinning 140mm Pure Wing 3 and even if that thing couldn't lift a sheet of paper off the desk, it was an interesting case fan for those who have an amazing case or an amazing build and not that much on the inside that actually needs to be cooled down. But what about the 140mm high speed version? This one also exists in black and white and it has the same 450mm long PWM cable and it comes with the same bare bones package containing only the fans and a bunch of case screws. But it is not the same thing on steroids. Already the impeller design looks vastly different. Now we got nine heavily bent wings and long ones by the way, a difference which Looks a lot like what Be Quiet did back then with the light wings when they went from slow to fast. But there is more. For the high speed version, Be Quiet implemented an innovative technology and it's actually quite useful for once, especially for benchmarks. You see, no matter what a manufacturer will tell you, the max RPM number that they are advertising on the average fan is more like a wish than an actual prediction. On one hand, that number can be like 10% off, which pretty much everybody admits already on the spec sheet. And let's be honest, 10% of 2000 RPM is 200 RPM, that's a lot of plus minus. And on the other hand, they have never specified the needed force to, or, or the, um, the applied restriction to achieve that number. The thing they constantly fail to tell you is that if you set some PVM percentage, a fan is spinning at a set number of rotations per minute, without resistance. The moment you slap it onto anything that will create resistance, like for example a radiator, the exact RPM number will go down, because the fan will now have to work against that resistance, leading to a loss in RPM. This is not a problem per se, it's just how fans work in general. But there is a way around that, closed loop motors. This is nothing new, as shown by this article from like 2006. Anyway, it's actually just get a signal, feed it to the motor and feed it back afterwards. Not spinning fast enough? Crank up the speed. And you can already observe this on the self-reported speed. If you slap it onto a radiator, first the speed will tank down and then it will slowly and slowly crawl back up to its max or to the number or to the percentage that you have set. Fun fact, you cannot kill the fan. I, I tried. I tried to squeeze it onto a mouse pad. Could you like not? I tried to squeeze it onto a mouse pad in hopes that the restriction will be so big that the fan will fry itself trying to get like back to max speed, but no, it will always just stop at plus minus 10% of the max speed. It, it, it won't kill itself. So is this performance enhancing? No. It's more like actually doing what you were supposed to do, unlike what most other fans will do, which will just basically perform slightly under because of you know, physics. But cool that this exists and cool that it's in here. But let's talk more about the specs. At up to 1800 RPM, the Pure Wing 3 in 140 is supposed to be pushing up to 72.2 CFM at up to 2.44 mm of H2O. And if you compare that to the cute specs of the low spinning one, this thing is actually supposed to do something. We benchmark fans in two different ways. Once on our case simulator, a wooden box where we use two fans to recycle their within and measure the results by looking at the CPU temperature underneath a passive Noctua P1. And for cases specifically, we benchmark both 140s and 120s on the same setup. I believe in a regular scenario when you got a case, you need to choose a fan, you choose between 120s and 140s. Hence, I believe for case fans, we should also benchmark 120s and 140s on the same setup. Of course, different sized holes because bigger fan, but same setup. And then for radiators, we blow through a 10 FPI 60 mm radiator and we measure the water temperature above ambient. Spinning at max on our case simulator, the high speed version managed to keep the chip at 43.6 degrees C above ambient, which is actually quite good. It's significantly above the slow one. And this time we actually beat the Arctic P12 and the Nokia NF A12 X25. So now we are talking business. Interesting here though, it did not beat the Lightwing in 140, something that I was kind of expecting given the, the raw stats. But on the bigger picture, it's fine. Very close to the Arctic P14 ARGB, so for me it's okay. 
The noise to performance ratio for cases is also okay, but not revolutionary. It is slightly behind the Lightwings 140 high speed from start to finish, but it only touches the P14 ARGB for a very short moment. And compared to the Be Quiet high end Cyan Wing 4 Pros in 140, yeah, not, not quite there at all. Another interesting comparison would be the slow spinning Pure Wing 3 140. Yeah, be because of the completely different impeller design, that's, that's just a totally different fan with a totally different use case. And over to radiators, which unfortunately was not quite what I expected. Keeping the water at 11.2 degrees C above ambient, this was kinda devastating. Sure, it's not like that far away from the Inoxia NFA14, but I really did not expect it to perform like slightly better than a slow spinning Lightwing. I was expecting results much closer to the uh, high speed Lightwing. Kinda odd if you ask me, especially considering the 1800 RPM. The noise to performance ratio for radiators doesn't look as bad. From start to finish it outperformed the A14 and even if the max performance results are far apart, the light wings and pure wings shortly met, after which the pure wings like fall slightly behind. If you expected like the next chart topper, you, your expectations were just off. It's not a bad fan, not at all. It's definitely better suited for cases if you ask me. There, it can actually do something. For red, I mean it works, but yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. But I also don't think Be Quiet tried to create any outstanding fan here. It does the job and it, is, it still costs 11 bucks, so the price to performance ratio is really good. There are better ratios out there, sure, but the vast majority will be on the other side of that equation. So for me, if you're looking for a fan that just gets the job done, sure. Don't expect it to have an outstanding noise to performance ratio or max performance for that matter. And it will do the job just fine. For a budget build, I do not see any problem with them. And let's be honest, you don't really need 2400 RPM quick silent wing 4 pros for intake. Nobody actually needs that. We just like the thought of having that. But yeah, they, they will do. But okay, this should be all for Be Quiet and their Pure Rings 3 in 140 in high speed. And at this point, a huge thank you to Be Quiet for sending them over. Oh, on a side note, we have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And we got channel membership, so if you are planning to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's one way to go. But if not, I'm also releasing the content to all members two or three weeks in advance. Except for the NDA stuff, because, you know, I, I don't want to get sued. Additionally, can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to put up a concrete wall. I really want to maximize that self-adjusting closed loop motor thing. I want to find out if it will at some point do Harakiri. Anyway, thank you for watching, and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the pure loop from Be Quiet. Even if that AIO uses these fans, the resulting performance is everything but budget. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.